Hi everyone, Nigel Saunders here. Today I'm heading off to Toronto to see the Toronto's Cactus and Succulent Show at Allen Gardens. Today it's a road trip here in the Bonsai Zone. I've arrived at Allen Gardens in Toronto. The Toronto Cactus and Succulent Club is having their show at the Allen Gardens Children's Conservatory. Looks like they're still setting up the show, getting ready for today. You don't see many glass greenhouses anymore. This one's really beautiful. The greenhouse is filled with all kinds of plants, flowers, really nice. Everything's looking very spring-like here. The Toronto Horticultural Society was founded in 1834. Wow, that's a long time ago. The conservatory is open to the public seven days a week from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. There's lots of big old trees in this park. Here's a really old plane tree in the park. These trees usually have kind of a mottled bark, sort of a greenish brown camouflage color bark. But this old one, all the bark's flaked off and it's kind of got white bark now. I've never seen that in a plane tree. Really amazing. It's just coming out with its leaves now. Here's a really old maple at Allen Gardens. Really nice trunk. Lots of texture. Lots of live veins going up. The tree is just loaded with maple keys too. There's even a dog park close by. Looks like it's good and busy. Everyone's busy setting up the displays to get the show underway. Here's the back parking lot where all the vendors park and bring their displays in. The vendors have the most amazing selection of cactus and succulents that I've ever seen. Look at that. That's the alien tree from Mars, right? <laughs> yes. Your, your bucket was is big now. No, no, you, you, you come regularly every year. Okay. Wow, these are all for sale. Look at some of these unusual species of plants. Wow. But you're giving away free native trees here. Yeah, that will be on Saturday, June 15th, right here. And it's in partnership with the Toronto Parks and Trees Foundation. Okay. And it's part of the Tree for Me program. So we okay. partner with them, they provide the trees, and then we distribute them to the community. And so we have, uh, I don't know how many, two, four, about eight different species of native trees. And they'll be okay. in two gallon pots. Oh, wow, that's yeah. amazing. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. And there's a selection of um, all the different native trees that you can get through the program. And if you come back on June 15th, um, they'll give you the tree in a two gallon bucket, some mulch, and they'll teach you how to take care of it. I love it. I love it. Wow. And where is that native to? Uh, this is uh, Mexico. Mexico, okay. And Lopopora. 
Wow. And this is Opercularia decariae from the island of Madagascar. And they call it the elephant, plant. The elephant tree, right? Well, there are lots of elephant trees yeah. just because they're thick. It's I a trupodisip worm. And this one I've been styling for over 25 years. Wow. Normally the branches, especially a lower the base, would be very slim. Yeah. And this plant in habitat would be at least seven, eight feet tall with this caliper of trunk. I see. So it's dwarfed. It is. And yeah, has been dwarfed. The pot helps a lot. Yeah. To keep it small. Keep the roots constrained, eh? Yeah. Wow, it looks beautiful. And pinching takes how long will those shoots grow if the, if you didn't pinch them? Uh, about a, over a foot to 18 inches every summer, depending on how well you fertilize and water the plants. Okay, wow. So if I left it this summer, I would get more than a foot of growth at the top. I see. And the branches would just keep growing. Yeah. Here's a shot of the crowd waiting to get in at the front door. It goes on and on and on and on almost forever. How's it going? Good, so far you? <laughs> yeah, a long lineup. Yeah. It's gonna be worth it. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> And you guys are at the end of the lineup. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what brought you to the show today? Uh, I like plants. I like, uh, but I'm hoping to see some cool succulents and maybe pick up one yep. that looks a little odd and funky. And do you have a collection of them in your house? or? Uh, just a couple little ones. I just yeah. got started relatively recently. Oh, cool. Yeah, and I picked up, and I know you're into bonsai, so I picked up uh, a couple two weeks ago. So oh. I've been getting into them as well. Oh, good. I watch all your videos, yeah. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Problem. And here we are at the entrance. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Can I use my fast pass to get in? You can use your fast pass to get in. All right, thanks. thanks. How far is the line? Insane. All the way down. <laughs> yeah. The volunteers are getting organized as the show is about to open. So the show is now open to the public. They allow 75 people in at a time. That's the capacity. And as you can see, it's really, really busy. The vendors are staying really busy.
colored sands that are going to be This is Vladimir here. He's going to be doing the judging today. He's got quite a task ahead of him. What oh, yeah. that you use for judging? Well, we use it like the main criteria is how the plant looks. Yes. It's not related to how rare the plant is. It might be a very common plant, but if it's looking nice, if it's so the display in a good, and in health a good display and conditions and everything else. And, and do you get bonus marks if it's flowering? Or? Well, technically, the, the procedure is every plant is 100% and then you start deducting points. I see. I see. As many points deduct, the lower rating of the plant is. Okay. So this is how it works. And does the pot make a difference? Yes. yes. So the cleanliness and presentation and all that. And uh, if the plant is in a proper group, yeah, or in a proper class, I see. If it's not on class, it will be disqualified. And what about the surface of the soil? I notice some have a fine gravel on top. It's part or? of the like overlook of the plant. Okay. But, uh, it doesn't really matter if it's right. If it has something on top of the soil. Or not. Okay. 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 Here we go. Our vice president. Okay. <laughs> He's going to be doing the judging now. Yes. yes. Okay. We're all going to be judging now. Uh, what are you judging? Because I ended a lot of cacti this year. Uh, okay. We just the same. The same. <laughs> Let's just be fair. <laughs> Here's a shot of the elephant tree. Nice bright spring leaves on it. I'm not even going to try and pronounce the scientific name. Maybe I will. Upper leg, no I won't. Here's another elephant tree in a bonsai pot. Really nice texture on the trunk. A nice little apex, a little wiring there, I think. Here's a very unusual looking plant. Looks like an alien or something. Here's an interesting desert rose. And I think you'll see the flowers. Here's a really old elephant tree. You can see the gnarly roots down here. The gnarly trunk. The fine, delicate branches. the way up to the apex. Here's another succulent with a tree form. And it's got kind of normal looking leaves up top. Really nice park, kind of turning a nice silvery gray color. Now this one is called a Jetrophia, Jetropia. Has a nice thick trunk on it and really large leaves if you see the size of the leaves. 
really large. Nice tree-like form. I see a rock wedging the branches apart there. Some little bonsai training. And really cool color bark. It's almost a dark, dark greeny gray. Here's another elephant tree. And this one has some really interesting roots. Kind of an exposed root style. Really nice branch structure. Yeah, quite a fantastic little tree. So here is a ficus palmaria. Quite the base on it. Aerial roots. And there's the leaves up top. They're uh, a lot like the ficus religiosa, but uh, a little smaller, a little different shape. Here's a really interesting succulent. It's a Hawartia, Hawartia, Truncata. Hawartia Truncata. Yeah, very interesting. Here's a really large aloe. Getting a woody trunk on it. Lots of pops coming off it. So these are all aloes. There's aloe delta light, which has a really nice colored leaf. And beside it is a Hawarthia. And again, a really nice leaf on it. And here's some other aloes, those aloe, uh, It's the trunk on it.
That was the Toronto Cactus and Succulent Show at Allen Gardens. I'm Nigel Saunders. Thanks for joining me today in the Bonsai Zone.